What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I figured I'd dish on this um, with free agency. You know, what a week and a half away. Uh, the New Jersey Devils have a shitload of cap space. Would they be in the mix for Steven Samkos? Uh, no. Here's why. July 1st has never really been a great day for the Devils. I'm looking at you, Ryan Klo. And, um, you know, I just... Going out there and signing the big name free age isn't something I see uh, Shero doing. Not this year. Not yet. I still think they have another year or two in the rebuild before they're back to where they they want to be. And they have some really good young players coming up that, you know, I think will be exciting to watch. I mean, I don't got to tell you guys about Pavel Zaka and, you know, some of the other really talented youngsters coming up that I'm pumped to see play at the NHL level on a consistent basis. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't think they're going to bother deviating from that path just yet. And they've got a lot of their own in-house free agents to re-sign. Uh, most importantly, I think Kyle Palmieri, he's a restricted free agent, had 30 goals in his first year back in uh, back on the East Coast. And uh, I think they'll be he'll be looking to get paid, rightfully so. I think, you know, five years, five and a half million is uh, definitely a very, very, very fair contract for a guy coming up a 30-goal season and a guy that, that proved he's more than a depth player. I think in Anaheim, Paul Murray was, you know, middle six forward. I don't want to say lost in the shuffle because, I mean, they, they knew how good he was. Um, but, you know, a guy that just kind of did his job on about his business and in New Jersey, you know, getting a, a lot more, you know, power play time and, you know, consistent offensive zone starts and shit like that. He was able to have, you know, a really, really great offensive season. So, you know, that's that's going to be one thing. If you put a gun to my head and said, guess one big name free agent the Devils could sign, I guess Louis Erickson. Just kind of seems like a New Jersey Devils player. Um, but I, I don't see them in on, on Stamkos or, or Lucic and, you know, Andrew Ladd, guys like that. It's, just, it's not the direction the team's going in right now. I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again, but I just think I'm right on this one. Um, I do think somehow, some way they'll be in on uh, Jimmy VZ because I still think they, uh, I, I still think VZ gets to free agency. Um, you know, I think that Buffalo trading for his rights is great, but from what I'm hearing, he's got his heart set on getting to unrestricted free agency. So, you know, we'll see uh, if anything changes in the next few weeks. But I think the Devils will definitely. They get enough local connections, enough you know Boston area guys to, you know, between the team and the uh, and the front office, and even John Hines being a, a BU guy, um, to to really put on a, a good full court press and the, the recording of Jimmy VZ. But yeah, I think that's gonna be as far as they'll go. I think you know they, there'll be some trades to be made too. They they definitely they've got a shitload of cap space so. You know, they, they could do what they did with um, Florida in terms of taking on Savard's contract to add some draft picks. I think that's a possible fit. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, how it all shakes itself out in the next couple weeks and months in New Jersey. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of The Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes of the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.